Yo, welcome to my hotel in New York City and welcome to another video of some of your favorite releases. Let's start the show. Welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and it has been a very busy week when it comes to sneakers, but let's actually start with what's actually releasing today. First off, we have the Adidas Bounce Beyond, which is actually dropping for the women in a black and a white colorway. I just did an unboxing on these, and they do look really great. Those will cost you $120, and it appears as if the men are getting a pair of these as well, and what Adidas is calling footwear white. Those will cost you $120 as well, and you can grab those over at Finish. Line. Now, going from training to basketball, we're going to switch over to Nike, who is getting ready to release the City Series of their basketball sneakers, which is actually to complement the City Series of the NBA jerseys. This includes four of their signature models, all dressed in a very specific colorways that will be available over at Finish Line. First, we have the Nike Kobe AD. This is in the Black Mamba colorway. That will cost you $150. Then we have the Nike KD10. This one is called Prosperity. I really like that blue on that one. That one will cost you $150 as well. We also have the Nike LeBron 15 in what they're calling the Guardians colorway, and that one's gonna cost you $185. And one of the most unique of the four is actually the Kyrie Four. It's called the Parquet or Parquet Edition. It's modeled after the floor where the Celtics play, and it looks really dope right there across the mid panel. That one's gonna cost you $120. And looking ahead to Thursday, we have the Air Jordan 1 season of her collection, and it looks absolutely incredible. Now, these are releasing in 10 different colorways. Each color is a little weird, like sun blush, ice peach, sunset tint, and a bunch of other colors along that vein. Um, these are gonna be really dope. The lady's gonna be rocking these all spring, and those will cost you $160 when they release. The Nike Vapor Max is still one of the hottest shoes you can buy right now, and Finish Line is set to release the Nike Vapor Max Plus. This hybrid version of the shoe combines the Air Max Plus from 1998 with the outsole of the Vapor Max. These are going to be launching in a few colorways, with two of those being available at Finish Line, and those are gonna cost you $190. Keeping the Vapor Max as the shoe of choice, Nike is also dropping the Flyknit mock version of the shoe. This is the version that removes the laces and they will be dropping in at least three different colorways that I know of. Midnight Fog, there's a cool gray and a dark suckle as well. Those will cost you $200 over at Finish Line. Now, Nike is also updating one of their classic silhouettes, the Nike Air Hirachi. And this version of the shoe is called the Nike Air Hirachi City. This is a very kind of, I would say this is a cool take on the classic sneaker. They are dropping in four different colorways and the price is $140, whether you want that black, navy, bleached, aqua, or that speed red. Now, Nike is also set to release a low version of the Hirachi City sneaker. Like the regular version, there are a ton of colorways of the low that are going to release from Particle Rose to Elemental Gold to Wolf Gray and a few others. Those will cost you $120 and you can pick those up over at Finish Line starting on Thursday. All right, riding out the drops for Thursday, we also get another version of the Hirachi called the Hirachi Drift. Like the other version, that one is also dropping in a few different colorways from Team Red to Sequoia. Those will cost you $120. Moving on to Friday, we have the Adidas Lifestyle shoe that's kind of banking on the whole sneaker dad trend that's going on right now, the Adidas Pro Fear. Now these are dropping in a black colorway and are one of the nicer lifestyle releases from Adidas in the past. Those will cost you $130. Now if you're still looking for a shoe that tightens up by itself, then you're in luck as the Team Orange colorway of the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0 is scheduled to release on Friday as well. For those planning to cop, those will cost you $720, and you're likely gonna have to go either through the Nike Draw or go through a raffle to actually secure a pair. Also dropping on Friday is Kendrick Lamar's first sneaker with Nike, the Nike Cortez. The official name is the Cortez Kenny, and it's inspired by his album, Damn. It has the word damn on the side, and those will cost you $100. Definitely looking forward to what Nike and Kendrick Lamar have coming in the future. Moving on to Saturday, we have a release from Jordan Brand with the Air Jordan 10. From my perspective, it kind of seems like the Air Jordan 10 is the model that most NBA players actually use on the court. I mean, maybe that's just me, but that's just what it seems like. Either way, uh, this pair is dropping in a cool gray colorway and they're gonna cost you $190 and you can grab those on Saturday over at Finish Line. Okay, as always, guys, want to thank you for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, and check below for links to all of the shoes that I talked about in the video today. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, live from my hotel room. Uh, with that being said, as always, guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace.